Hi, I'm just recording this video to show you how to map a load of wave files to a multi sample and how to do it very quickly. And like anything, I suppose preparation is the key thing. So I'm just going to show you something for a second. So for when you're sampling a sound on a keyboard, if you're using uh, the programs like Sample Robot or Extreme Sample Converter, you need to make sure you extract the right notes that will work best. So in I personally prefer the C. D sharp, F sharp, and A. And then just repeat that to hold me up the keyboard. So. And so on like that. Um, so what I have is a, a large selection of A files there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna load the whole atom in one go load them all to memory okay so there's 16 of them so go to load and we load them okay so what I'm going to do now is go into sampling mode and we get up our sampler so um, we're going to create a new multi sample so I'm going to put it in here and it is a stereo one so press OK on that and OK so we're going to work from here so when I select my samples I can see the list there so I'm just going to select the first one and press the key so I'm just going to go back to the WAV file just to make sure I have the right pitch just knock off that just going to play that one okay so back into sampling mode so I was just checking to see if the actual pitch was correct to that note now how we automate this very easily is we have to set our range so I'm just going to set the top key to that okay and then in on the multi sample page, if we go in here and up to this corner here, there's this create zone preference function. And in my case, with the samples and the key map that I showed you earlier on, each note that I sample will be sampled for three semitones. So I'm going to set that to three keys. And I always want the sample to sit in the middle. So hit center. So that means. If this is the note I sampled, it'll play this note and that note. So it'll be this will be the original sample. The sample will be stretched down a semi and up a semi, and then it'll go into the next um, sound. So that's done. So all I need to do is press create and type in the number of the next sample. So you go up in twos every time, so two is the next value. Then hit create. Back in again. Four. Create. Six. Create. Eight. Create. Ten. Create. Twelve. Create. Fourteen. Create sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four. Should have gone too far, have I? I'm just going to delete that last one so I'm just going to press cut so um, and actually I'm going to delete that one as well so our last one is in number 17 and all I need to do then is adjust this then to with the slider just put it up to the top value so I can actually see the last sample covers that zone there and the first sample I'm just going to actually adjust the first one covers that zone there so perfectly okay 
So that's it really. So I can actually test my sample now. As you can see, it's all mapped out pretty straightforward, very quickly done.